Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week we're using the Clo cards and we have three options here. Option number one, which is this little thing here, which actually opens. Here we are. Let's see what's inside. Hmm, there's nothing inside right now. And um, option number two. And this is um, a tourmaline here, which is option number three. Please go ahead, make your selection and you can go directly to the reading. And so for those of you who've chosen the first option here, we are asking the question, what is your weekly Oracle card guidance? So the card that we have here is called the wood. And it's really interesting because uh, this of course is wood as well. And so we think here that um, the message that's being brought forth is that it's important to be true to your values. It's important to have a good foundation. It's important to know who you really are and to allow yourself to be fixed in your value system and in terms of what you believe to be true. However, it is also necessary to allow yourself to evolve and to grow and to be able to birth whatever comes from you whatever has the potential to come from you and so this week it's about um being able to understand that even though you may define yourself in one particular way you have uh, the potential to express yourself in many different ways um or maybe just in in one particular way but you have a lot of uh, room for expression and abundance so from this wood um, if it were a tree, it can grow, it can flourish, it can produce fruit, it can produce leaves, it can produce stems, it can have branches, it can produce new trees. And so there's a necessary uh, acknowledgement or recognition of that. I feel that this might also be a time in which it's necessary to, um, to think about your ancestors, to think about where you've come from, to think about how they have given birth to you ultimately and how their lives have led to your life. And in this way, the cycle continues. In this way, the, um, the, the, the genes are passed on, the understanding, the culture, the tradition, the language, it's all passed on. And it's a moment in which you can take to thank your ancestors or to acknowledge their contribution to your life or to your being, to your existence. And it's also a moment where you can understand how you um, play that role in your life at this moment. It's not necessarily that you uh, live your life um, in in order to give birth to another person. But uh, although that might be the case, that might very well be the case, but it's not, I don't think it necessarily means that right now, but rather, how is it that you flourish? How is it that you live in this world? How is it that you are branching out in this world? And what is your expression? And what, and how is your limit, your expression limited? You know, one particular tree, a peach tree can only produce peaches. It won't be able to produce apples or oranges and so what is the limit of your expression what is the limit of your your abundance and and but what is the depth of your abundance how abundant can you be and look look at all of that those matters and how it would translate into your life in this week i think it's to be able to understand where is it that you need to be speaking out but you're not where is it that you are too so true to your values and to what it is that is um, unmoving in you or or what it is that you are comfortable with, that you're not willing to speak out, that you're not willing to be able to express yourself in a particular way. And I think that uh, it's really a week, even if you don't uh, express yourself in any particular way outside of you. It's really a week to understand that you have the potential to be able to express yourself, that you have the potential to be this flourishing being, you know. And um, I look at this lady here, this girl, um, and she has these leaves almost coming out of her hair and she's growing, she's growing. And I think that this is a week where it's important to to identify what part of you uh, you think is fixed and cannot grow and how can you actually let it go? How can you let it sprout new leaves or new branches and 
how can you develop further, even if you do not take the action to develop this week? I think it's also a week where you can look at uh, where is it that you've been very fixed in your life in a particular way, where it is that you've been quite rigid in your life. And it's really a week where I feel that for you, it's calling upon you to have a little bit more self-awareness, a little bit more reflection, uh, where you can look at your habits, look at your way of being, your way of expressing yourself, the, your way of simply being in this world with other people and ask yourself, is that the best that you can do? Is that what I, what you're doing right now and how you are? Is that is that okay to be in this way? And so I think that this is a, a really important time for you to ask these questions. I think there's a reason that... Um, that this is this is coming up in this particular way for you right now is because there's going to be a, a a great deal of flourishing that will occur in the next couple of weeks for you and I think that um in order for you to to be ready for that in order for you to have this uh having processed this idea of expression right now is going to be a build up to what's going to come for in the upcoming weeks. I think um, there's going to be an opportunity for you to express yourself. There's going to be a need for you to express yourself. There's going to be a need for you to speak out about something um, or at least be able to to show yourself, show your, your creativity in some way, show uh, your, your expression. And so I think that it's necessary to almost come out of hiding, come out of the closet, come out of a space where you've been silent and prepare yourself to to speak. And this is a week in which you're thinking about that. You're thinking about how it is that you'll be able to express yourself. Or if you were to express yourself, how would you do it differently? And what are you fixed about? What are your true values? What, Where is it that you aren't willing to budge with whatever it is uh, that you're not willing to budge with? And where is it that there can be room for more flexibility and room for you to be able to incorporate greater growth in your life to be able to flourish and and create new okay so i think that is the message here uh, from this card and uh i think more important than anything it's this idea am i fixed and where is it that i'm fixed where is it that i'm stuck in a way or maybe i'm not stuck but i'm quite fixed and it appears as if i'm stuck but i'm fixed and i respect and and uh, protect the values that I have so I think it's it has uh you know those themes around it right now in this week you know whatever it is that comes out of your reflection um or whatever it is that you're thinking about it is important to note that there's just a lot of positivity here there's a lot of uh, room for uh, pos more possibilities and more positivity and you know this this idea of flourishing if I could encapsulate this reading in one word I would say it's about flourishing and you know just that's the key word flourishing and the question is how do you bring yourself to that point where you can flourish or how can you prepare yourself to flourish all right so I'm gonna leave it there for you I hope that has been helpful and I'm wishing you a blessed week ahead hi there it seems like I actually um I didn't press record for the second option and I went ahead and shuffled the cards and yeah, I chose I chose this option. So uh, pardon me that I haven't shown you half shuffled the cards, but I wanted you know remain true to this card. Um, so normally, what I would do if I forget to press record is I would just reshuffle and and just put out the card out out there for you again. But I just feel like um, like this is you know what your message is for the week. So I'm gonna stay with it. And um, so we have the card the big and it's time for you to move ahead so um you know the card pre prior to this one was really about standing still and reflecting and looking at how dynamic one can be but i think your card is really about you having acknowledged already how dynamic you are and how you can go ahead and how you can move ahead and you're ready to do so and so i think that this is a week where it's ready to take action now you might say, well, it's Mercury retrograde and it's not a good time to take action. But it feels to me like this um, preparation has been a long time in the making. And whatever it is, wherever it is that you want to take action, it's necessary to not doubt yourself. It's necessary to have that confidence in yourself and to understand that you are ready to go ahead. It's You are ready to, to, to move ahead. 
and that you have all that it takes to be able to do that and that you are as dynamic as need be and you have all the skills ready to be able to do that. It almost feels to me as if this has been a long time in the making and that you shouldn't doubt that. I also feel that if you want to start something new, like if you want to begin on a new project or you want to release something or launch something, that it's actually a good time to do that now, especially if it is something that you have been preparing for and working for for a long time. And I think that there's something about the new moon that's coming up this week that you, you need to be cognizant about. You need to take that into account and, um, you know, a parallel to it have your new beginnings or parallel to it have whatever new beginnings that you want in your life not necessarily with launching something new a new product new business or whatever it is but rather launching yourself anew so it might be that this week comes with not just the strength that you seem to embody here and not just this wisdom that you seem to embody here, but also a sense that you can actually take action. And it might be that you might not have felt that you could have taken action in the last two or three months, but now is a time where it, there's a sense that you can take this action. Now, what I want to say here is that you might actually take this action this week. And for some of you, you would go ahead and, and make this big change or create this, these waves in your life that you need to create. But for others of you, it's about waiting um, another week or so before you can actually make this change. And I, I feel that this week is important because you start putting things into motion and then next week is actually when it takes off in a way or you put yourself out there in whichever way is necessary. It also feels to me like on some level you might have been in some kind of hibernation. You might have been not willing to come forth or or bring yourself forward or or travel or or make some kind of move that you needed to make but right now is the time for you to have done it now for a couple of you you might have already made this move you might have already taken this action at the beginning of this month uh last week sometime already even and i feel here that uh you already in the midst of it and it, this is almost like a confirmation that you are going on the right way. It's okay to do things on a bigger scale. It's okay to take things to the extreme at this time. It's okay to, you know, go a bit further um, and to express yourself in a bigger way that encompasses more space, um, that uh, seeks a wider audience, that covers more ground. It might cover more ground physically. It might be that you, you've chosen to uh, do a one kilometer run every day but then now you decide okay I'm going to do a five kilometer run every day or you might have decided that you will take a weekend trip away but then you decide now I'm going to go away for a whole month and so there's this feeling here and those are just two examples I'm not sure if anyone will actually be doing that exactly but what I'm trying to uh, show is that there's going to be this this time where you have maybe thought you're going to do it um, on on a on a scale on a smaller scale but you've actually decided that you're going to do it on a much bigger scale and there's room for that there's room for this space there's room for this growth here it feels to me like a time where um you can just move ahead and do do what it is that you're doing and be really productive at it and and be able to create much more from it there's a sense that you have prepared yourself to no end and that you've work really hard at bringing yourself to this level that you've done all the groundwork and it's time just to be and to enjoy and and really just to um, be able to produce from yourself it also feels to me here that if you're an artist or somebody who does something creative um that um and if you've been putting like quite a lot of effort into whatever you've been doing if you've been training to do something uh, then this is a time where you it's it's the right time to launch yourself it's the right time to sell your wares it's the right time to actually put yourself out there and yes you might not feel that you have gone the whole way and that you are as prepared as you need to be uh, to be perfect or to be you know a, a professional in your work or whatever but Whatever you've done until now is adequate for you to be able to express yourself, to be able to take that stage and show yourself. And I think that uh, this is a time to go ahead and do that. And I also want to say that, you know, allow yourself to feel um, like you're finding your way through things. Allow yourself to have fun as you go along. Allow yourself to look at things uh, from a fresh perspective. And um, it's almost like there's a sense of naivety here. There's a sense that... Um, 
you don't really know what you're getting yourself into, but that shouldn't really come in the way because there's this great potential that you have to make things bigger, but and also that you have all that it takes to be able to do that. You have all the necessary groundwork done already and you have the skills, you have the, the aptitude, you have the personality, you have it all to be able to do this one thing that you're wanting to do. So just go ahead and, and do it. I don't think that it's going to stand in your way. I also feel like there's a bit of luck in here for you. There's this sense that uh, things can be lucky for you. And I think that in a way it um, it's like you can be lucky as far as, you know, like winning something or or uh, investing in something and having uh, your your you know being able to be have a, a payout at the end of it so there's also that aspect as well okay I would say you know for those of you who've gotten this option here go and play the lotto um, in the next couple of weeks and see and see if there's something that happens or go and bet on something um, there's a likelihood that uh, whatever you gamble on you will win at and that could be material it could be that you're gambling on somebody's uh, on somebody feeling a particular way about something that you've done and it seems to work in your favor regardless of whether it looks good or not okay so um yeah i'm gonna leave you with that that's quite a dynamic message right there and i hope that it helps you as you go along in this week so wishing you many blessings as you go along so for those of you who've chosen the third option here, which is the Toma Lane, we are asking, what is your weekly Oracle card guidance? What is your weekly Oracle card guidance? Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the option number three, we have the flower and uh, we have the tourmaline. Now here, um, it feels like really a fun week for you. It feels like um, it's a fun but a delicate week. So things could actually be quite easy, quite light. Um, you could have quite a lot of fun doing the things that you're doing, whether it's studying, whether it's working, whether it's uh, doing chores, whether it's running errands, you could have quite a lot of fun doing whatever it is that you're doing. I feel here there's also a sense of being able to take care of yourself this week. So it's a good week um, as far as grooming is concerned. As far as uh, perhaps um, you just taking care of yourself in some kind of way, having a massage or um, doing your hair in a particular way, um, just taking extra care of yourself. It might also be a week where you decide to reorganize your, your wardrobe and you decide to take away some clothing and keep some and uh, redefine your look. So it's very much a time where these kind of um, outwardly thing these um, these material things play a bigger role in your life right now and I feel like um, it's it's very much a time where you can choose to beautify yourself where you can choose to look after yourself to you know to to do that self-care to embark on a self-care routine and to ensure that your needs are being met with regard to your uh, your you know your your physical being if you are uh, doing some kind of workouts, etc., to be able to make sure that you give yourself a fair amount of time for recovery as well. So I feel like that is what's highlighted this week. I feel there's also a sense that uh, in this week, you will, f you could meet somebody new or you could be feeling um, different about yourself. So you might be feeling a bit more attractive or you might be feeling that you uh, find yourself attracted to other people more easily than you usually do. Or you find yourself, um, you know, being um, being watched by people as you walk by and people are kind of more drawn to you, uh, perhaps more than usually. I feel also there's a sense here that even though there's all of that happening on the outside, there's all of this kind of material stuff, this outside, um, this external beautifying, that is what this week is indicating for you. There's also a sense of being really solid inside yourself. You know, you are able to embark upon these external superficial, if you would like to call it that, uh, but these external outside of yourself um, priorities because 
you have taken care of what's inside already because you, you have a solid sense of who you are inside of you and that can't be shaken. So it's not like you are here beautifying yourself or taking care of what is external to you in order to, for that to feed what is uh, lacking on the inside. There's nothing like that. There's very much a sense of, look, you've been working really hard with who you are and with what you've needed for your own being, for your soul, for your own um, self worth and now it's time for you to spend a little bit of time polishing yourself out on the outside as well um so there's this sense that also of being able to enjoy yourself you know i feel like what i've just explained now is not on a conscious level i think that that's something that's quite unconscious to you you just might find yourself seeking something lighter after having been in a situation where you've needed to do quite a lot of hard work or where you might have been mourning or in grief or you might have been coming from a situation where there's uh, some kind of trauma there and now it's the time to lighten up your life and bring some of the color in, bring up some of the joy in and be able to have a little bit more of a playful time. I think there's also a sense here that this has something to do with the season that you're in and it's also the a sense of being some kind of transience here and there's this feeling that this is a phase that you're going to go through and it's great to be able to enjoy those things but to be able to understand that it's a phase it has a middle a, a beginning a middle and an end and when it's finished it will be this phase will be done with and you'll be going into a new phase so to be able to just be aware of that and to be able to make as good use as you can of these of whatever it is that you choose to bring into your life right now that helps to make it lighter and more playful and more joyful um I also feel that if some of you are thinking about adjusting your weight in some kind of way, whether to gain more weight or whether to, to lose some weight, that this is a good time to be able to start something like that. So it's a good time to be able to put down a program and to be able to uh, adjust your schedule or your routine in a way that will be able to incorporate some of those fitness practices that will allow you to either gain or, or lose uh, weight, muscle, fat, whatever it is. And so this is something that you this is a good week to be able to put that into being and put that into action and to be able to to follow through with that over the next few weeks um the message i'm getting here is that if you started this week you will be able to follow through with it more easily than you might have been able to in the past if this is something that you've embarked upon in the past anyhow there's also a sense here that, you know, you can shine if you want to, that you, you are looked upon with quite a lot of um, admiration from others at this moment. And there's a sense of being able to protect yourself through that, being able to uh, keep your center closed and solid and for you and in a divine energy and not to have that be seeped away from you in any way. So just to be able to protect yourself as you go forth at this moment, because the, it does seem to me that you could draw quite a lot of attention to yourself at this moment. All right. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, that is quite a, an interesting message. It has quite a lot of different aspects to it. And I think that uh, it's not often that I, <laughs> I, I, I give messages where I'm, I'm on the, telling people it's a good time to go on a on a on a you know on a weight loss or a weight gain plan or it's a good time to go and get a massage <laughs> so it's quite a different kind of message than what I'm used to giving but it feels like the the right message for you at this moment so I'm wishing you a very blessed week as you go along and um yes may you have all that you need at this moment and blessings abound from Kismet Rising